Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Arnold Duck and we are playing Imperator Rome with the 1.2 Cicero patch as Athens. Welcome back! We have been attacked by Macedon, which actually is a blessing in disguise, I would say. Um, just because this allows us to engage Macedon without having to go uh, into conflict with Egypt, which Egypt is looking very, very powerful right now. I actually kind of would like them to have some sort of succession crisis or something. Um, like the Seleucids over there seem to have happened to them. Uh, Moria is still also looking ungodly strong. But yeah, Egypt is a powerhouse and they are allied with Carthage. Uh, Carthage has d done very well. Eaten a lot of Iberia, like consolidated its hold on Africa here. Um, these guys are the vassal, tribal vassal. These guys are vassal to Carthage. So um, Mauritania is probably going to vanish at some point once Carth Carthage uh, asserts itself a little bit further. But uh, yeah. Um, and Rome is like, it's struggling, but it's getting there. Macedon has attacked us. They have 1,500 pops. We have 1,000 pops. So yeah, I mean, they're still like 50% stronger than we are, but it's no comparison anymore. Um, Thrace, for some reason, offered us um, <clears throat> an alliance. And for some reason, they're not going to join our call to arms. God damn it. Uh, I don't like it. Well, what can we do? I mean, I could probably send them some money. I'd love to have them in this battle. I'd love to have them in this battle. Yeah, there's nothing much I can do. Let's see. Okay, religious advances. Allies low on manpower has border war balance. It's at minus three now for some reason. Okay. So let's go ahead. Let's see if we can't catch these dudes. Yeah, well, we kind of have to force march into there. I don't want them to take Halkus. That's just not right. Ah, we're going to manage it on our own. Okay, that's massive. That's a really important win for us. Um... These guys obviously want to have out of this. Um, and yeah, that, that big group, we're going to march out. We're going to try to catch these guys. Um, I'm going to turn off the force march. Uh, I'm going to have these guys leisurely strolling into that battle. I just, I have a lot of problems all at the same time. I'd love to call these guys in, and I will, in fact. Because um, that'll kind of force Macedon to move some troops to its northern border. Otherwise, they're going to get wrecked. I wish there was a way for me to um, move through their lands. Are they giving military access to my vassal? Guaranteeing, guaranteed subjects. They allow military access to Aegean and Odrysia. Yeah, they're not granting it to my vassal, which is annoying. Otherwise, my vassal could actually come in from the north. But okay. Not gonna happen. I can live with that. Uh, we still have a couple of trade routes that we're not really using. So Crete could actually take some grain from Egypt. So actually, we have, we have like a lot of trade routes here that we can take. Ooh, a lot of trade routes in this one. Oh, no. Yeah, right. So we're here. So, to, that's their country. Um, it might be worth it to switch our stance. Like, we only had 1.33 aggressive expansion. So, uh, we'll switch to mercantile stance here. Uh, creating trade routes is much cheaper with that. Um, so, we should be able to, like, do something here. Let's get some more grain from the central delta on Crete. Um, this place... We could probably use some salt for it, so maybe let's get that so we have some higher population limit. I'd really love to get more slaves into this one to get more grain out of it, but we'll see how it goes. Um, these guys, yeah, yeah, what do we get here? Spices? Yeah, we can get spices here. Sure, why not? So let's take spices. Let's take precious metal from Hellas. This will remove our capital surplus, so that is kind of sad. 
I don't think I want to really do that. Can go earthenware. Yeah, let's get it from Heraclea Pontica. It's probably helpful. And let's get cloth, I think. Get some more local tax. That's going to help us out. And then Achaea. We could definitely... Do you produce salt? No, they're not producing salt. But there's also no one offering salt anymore. Um, food. We're still all right. We can probably get some, some grain here. Um, iron would probably be nice. Furs, leather. Let's get earth right here too. Make that like a, a bonus. Um, hemp is no longer an option. Cook or marble, local civilization level. Sure. Just increase the civilization level on this on this area. And over here, we're already maxed out in terms of trading, so that's all right. Um, yeah, let's continue. Let's actually drop down a little bit in speed so I can micro my troops better. So, yeah, we managed to win this one. Uh, I kind of need to send both armies to the south to start mopping up some areas. And we can siege this down, but it's already being taken. This is my main force. I'll actually run down here, I think. These guys can probably hold the northern border on their own. Now the big question is these two. But if I just bring them into the ships like real quick, we should maybe be able to send them into battle together without losing our ships in a battle against the Macedonians. Ah, ah no. I don't want these guys to take power, so... Okay, we're not we're not super stable now. Uh, yeah, can't do that. If I can't avoid a leader of the military party, so be it. We will bring this fleet down. They're about to take Messine over here. It does make me too happy, but there's not much I can do about it. I could take this mercenary unit, of course. Mm. And we'll just and we'll just set this guy to independent operations so that ah oh no he's gonna go back and defend you useless you know that right ah oh, damn it so let's try to engage this army oh really our commander has twelve while theirs has eleven oh they're using some heavy cavalry here hmm. We could use bottleneck. Let's check if bottleneck is actually a thing that we can use. I mean, we might lose quite a few troops here. Okay, so military faction is in control. Sweet, that helps us a little bit with this war. I think I'm going to bring these troops into Argos instead of uh, somewhere else. Oh, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. Come on. Guys, I need you to win this one. Yeah, it's going to be painful one way or another. For a question of sanity, whether down to recent events, personal character, or political machinations, a rather amusing bill has been brought before the assembly. Listing in excruciating detail the curious personal habits of our Archon. The girl is naturally laughed out of the assembly, but the perpetrator refuses to come forward. How should we act? Yeah, we're just going to laugh about it. And the populist faction. Has Athens done has done Athens so many favors now that we're solely in their debt? They want uh, someone to get a position. So, they want to make Democrates into the Strategos. How loyal is this guy? Really disloyal. <sighs> okay. Alright. Not much I can do about it. Uh, 
Uh, we're also at too low a stability to kick him out, so we just have to ride this out. I feel. Okay, we're just narrowly gonna win this. Very narrow. Let's go after those 10k here. Yeah, I lost Siege of Olympia. That sucks. That sucks quite a bit, but I want I don't want them to win this one. This one is the big problem. They have no general here. I tell you what, we'll we'll come over here right away. Maybe, maybe, just maybe we can force march down. Stop these guys from taking that city. Uh, we need to be very lucky here. Yeah, we are actually lucky. Twisting the knife. Um, the leader of the populist party for reasons unknown, uh, known only to himself, has begun to view us with jealousy and distrust. Well, screw you, man. Got some inventions here. Mostly general loyalty. All these are pretty good. National population growth, found city cost modifier. Uh, modifier. I love this one. That's sweet. Yeah, what else can we do? I'll have this army run down there. Oh, we need some reinforcements, but our fighting medals are actually pretty good. Like 128% discipline does not lie. Okay, and that's that. Awesome. So we only lost Olympia so far. Uh, which is more than I was hoping for, really. I actually thought that we would lose this one. The problem is not so much that we can't get it back. But just the fact that I, that I don't want to lose uh, all that population. Losing that population is no fun. So we're gonna we're gonna try to smush those 12k here too. Uh, it's actually like their main army. They have 119,000 currently. But with this huge mercenary retinue over here, these guys are still using our fighting stats, so I guess we're gonna be showing them how to properly train and use those troops. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll send these guys into Hepatia. Hepatia. That is, yeah, it's just a level one fortress actually. It doesn't really matter too much. So crush this army. Yeah, wham, blam, kabam. We'll send those 10k here. We'll send those 2k here. Uh, and we'll send these guys to Messine to properly recuperate. I think this is the war that gives us the rest of Greece. I can feel it. I can absolutely feel it. This looks great. We're already 32% uh, towards uh, winning this war. I mean, what still annoys me is that we, that we can colonize this place, but... What can you do, right? And there's no progress? Does this... Does this have a fortress? Really? How did that happen? This place didn't have a fortress a second ago. Okay, I guess. Okay, where's the music? Like, why, why don't we have any music? Increase speed. I'd love to have some music playing. Maybe I have to restart the game after this uh, episode. Try to get that up and running. Um, there's no harbor here, so it doesn't really matter. We can't take that fortress. It's going to be really difficult for them to reinforce. Um, we still have 143 cohorts and 100,000 min manpower. We have a max of 180. We're gaining more manpower than they are now, so that's nice. I like it. Some starving pops here in Megara. Why is that happening? Megarian school. Yeah, it's just because it's been looted. Okay. 
have a philosopher in Naxos. We can. What's his? What are his teachings? Uh, he's debunking the relevancy of virtuous behavior. Um, yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, this place also has a fortress. Okay, doesn't matter then. I'm just gonna recoup with this army. Look at the money that we're making now. Crazy amounts of money from uh, commerce mainly. But then also some from taxes. That's, that's the general loyalty, crop growth, city cost. Let's have the tyranny down tick. We could probably storm this place. I'm not sure if it's really necessary. I think we're fine there. So yeah, it actually sounds eerily silent. But we got we got Leprion now. Let's go to Elis. We're gonna get this place back. Aparta is one. Sweet. Let's go and take Thermos. Yeah, I don't really see what Mastodon can do against this. Like, uh, Thrace is taking care of Tribalia for me. Did you open your borders now to my vassal? No. Well, I'm gonna ask them for military access. Sacking of Elis. Um, let the looting be gentle. We wanna, we wanna get all these places. We don't really wanna murderize people there. <clears throat> Okay, so there are some more troops coming towards us. It's just a level 9 guy. Do we have anyone better? Not really. Damn it. Okay, come over here. We can still help taking this place. Trying to siege this stuff back. How how are they able to move past this fortress? Like, come on. I control that fortress. It has a zone of control. Stop shitting me. It's stuff like that where... Sometimes people are like, No, man, you just don't understand the zones of control rules. But clearly, if there's a fortress here, they're supposed to siege down that fortress first. Before they're able to to march through. I mean, what's the point? There's only one direct movement between these two places. How can they come from the north and just march past this fortress? Like, the fortress has... Can we switch to the tactical view? Um, no, we can't. But the, the fortress is fully maintained. It has a garrison of only 250. I mean, it could be that there was, like, no one in the garrison. That's the only real way that this could have happened. Ooh. We captured a bunch of ships from the pirates. Neat. That's really neat. I like it. Hmm, they have just 50k just standing over here in that province, not caring about things. Uh, okay. Our grain imports went away. That's not good. Sure, let's get it from the central delta. I can live with this. Capital also has... Can I get more silk? Probably not. We're producing some in Naxos, but... Maybe spices. Let's get them from South Nubia. So one of my Merc leaders just died. And now he's like a level 5 Merc guy. Ah, crap. I don't even want him. He's not particularly useful now, but... Okay, uh, we managed to take Patry. That's good. Can we now go to... Okay, we can. Olives from Epirus. Sure. Force march this army over there.
This thing is about to fall, I think. Yep. Okay. Good. Err. Uh, do we just want to trap these guys? Feels like we do. Feels like we want to send these dudes packing. I'll just force march over there, throw all the forces into that one province. This guy also shouldn't be able to march past this fort. <laughs> yeah, I'm just getting ships after ships from those pirates. It's, it's a bit weird, but okay, I'm not gonna complain too much. Actually, we can we can just go here, I guess. Yeah, this doesn't this does really not look good for Macedon. Uh, looks like the fighting sets are also pretty bad. Yeah, we're still a couple of tech levels ahead of them. Or do we want to go manpower recovery speed? Don't really think so. Our taxes have gone down. Let's see how the how the money looks in the next month. So let's move around. Let's um, take the city. And let's catch these dudes. Let's see, are they trying to reinforce? Yeah, they are. All right, let's just go after them. I'll send 35k after them. These guys are done. Bring them up here. Yeah, now they've now they've used those mercenaries to come back from their shitty little island over there. Hmm. Probably have to send some troops there. Well, let's take Loikos over here. I definitely want to take I want to take as much of Greece as I possibly can from this. Where are going? Okay, so we're taking a lot of people from Phasalos. I always have to look at Athens if it's getting overly crowded. And it looks like that's actually happening. Yeah, we have a lot of food. Oh, it's mainly because we're under siege. Okay. We'll have to deal with that somehow. Took this place. Mm. Actually, is there a harbor here? Yeah, we've got a harbor here. I'm just going to transport those troops to the other side of Greece. I don't think the Macedonian fleet is strong enough now to even challenge my troops. these guys on. I'm just gonna go directly into the harbor. Show these guys who's boss. Yeah, we're still making 17 bucks, so I can pretty safely um, go for the manpower recovery speed, I think. Gonna need manpower, and lots of it. Let's put this guy into office. Looks nice. Subject opinion of us. Hmm. I, I think I'm going to stockpile money for a little while. Yeah. yeah, this province has no harbors whatsoever, which means no no input routes or anything. But we get an additional capital import route, I think. No, but we can unlock it. Capital input routes plus one. Sure, I take it. These actually do get pretty expensive right about now. Uh, let's get more grain. Sure, let's get it from Turtitania. For some reason, Thrace really likes like all the AIs seem to like to have their fleets in my in my lands. That's what they want to do. Where are your fortresses? Okay, you don't really have any. Alright then, I'm gonna take this fortress over there. What was Macedonia thinking? Like, what were they thinking doing this? 
Oh, come on. Shit. Damn it. That annoys me. That we lost Herkus. March on those 15k. We have the religious proceeding. Let's just get the stability boost. I like that. Um, kind of wanted to take Larissa with my own troops, but it's nothing I can do right about now. Ah, shit. There's the Thracian fleet being wrecked because yeah, they have that 12th Marshal dude. Mm. Do we have anyone who's like really good at military? What are you? 11? We're the Archon. Why can't we uh, command anything? Ah, because we're in command of the army here, right? So who else do we have in government who's like good at military? Two, four, five, eight, two, two, four, three. Let's check the researchers. Seven. No, okay. So our Admiral is actually the best choice. I'm gonna try to help Thrace here in this battle. So these guys we're gonna march down. Um because we're gonna need a little bit of help. I want to blockade their fleet. Oh yeah, look, Macedon's finally managed to get some troops up into Thrace. Which is really not going to help them. That's for certain. Um, yeah, we just have to get our, our place back. I think I'm actually going to just assault. It's just 300 men in there. Um, let's have our main army go into Skyros. Take that back. How did these guys manage to build a mine in here, even though you're not really supposed to be able to build a mine? Like, that's normally a uh, slave building, but they still have that there, and they managed to get a city in the same at the same time. That's really weird, you know? We're definitely getting a lot of pops. How many slaves have we plundered so far? 120. But sadly, these guys also got 73. So, uh, I mean, they probably got most of it from threes, but not everything. Um, Halkus definitely took a pretty heavy hit. That was a very, very heavily populated town. Um, let me check. Yeah, still Halos has grown um, population. Laconia, a little bit. Um, yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. All of our provinces have grown in terms of population. No longer importing cloth from Calabria. Okay then. Um, are you independent? No. Yeah, they feel the territory to Egypt as expected. Uh, you I can just move you over. They're probably trying to pull back. Um, they're not yet in full retreat mode from the looks of it because they're still sending troops in to um, try to deal with me. Mm. What can I do? Nothing actually. We just gotta let it run. Someone wants wine from a care. We have one additional slot here. What about livestock? Let's get livestock from Bosporanum. Makes sense. Okay. I also want to build like an additional aqueduct just to make sure that works out. And the second of Skuros. Um, yeah, let's let the looting be gentle. I'm not a tyrant. Just trying to, you know, get things done. Actually, stay here. I'm gonna bring that fleet. It's gonna be faster. Ah, no, no worries. We're victorious in that battle. 
And we won the Siege of Passeron, which basically means that uh, we have almost all of Epirus on our hand. Our vassal wants earthenware. I'm going to grant that request. Uh, yeah, it basically looks like we have Macedon on full retreat now. They don't really seem to be able to. Oh, part of Athens, but occupied by Macedon. Okay, we have to get that one back. That's probably where their troops were rallying to in any case, so not too great. Where's my huge army? Is this my huge army? Yeah, this is the huge army that we, that we uh, hired recently. Put these guys onto the ship. And I think considering that we want to push up further here, uh, it might not be a bad idea to just have them go right into their center. But for now, I think I'm going to have to end the episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you want to see more of the series, please consider subscribing. And I hope I see you in the next episode. Thanks. Bye-bye.